Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with UFC middleweight Uriah Primetime Hall, who's fighting on Fox Sports 1 August 17th opposite John Doomsday Howard. So, Uriah, are you in Boston already, and what is that hype like down there ahead of this launch for Fox Sports 1? Yeah, I'm in Boston. Uh, as far as hype, I don't really see any. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm anxious. You know, there's a couple days left. And uh, I'm just ready to go, man. Are you honored to feel like a part of this Fox Sports 1 launch for the uh, 24 Hour Sports Network with the UFC? I was blown away when I even found out I was on that. And then, you know, for me, you know, to even see my picture and then. What Times Square? I heard back in New York, home that you know there's a billboard up there, and I'm I don't know, I'm freaking out like what? I'm ecstatic, man. Wow! And you were on the billboard in Times Square? Yeah. <laughs> is that uh, just like that, larger than life for you? It is. You know, it's almost like that song started from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, yeah. I just felt like I've I've gone through so much in my life, and I was never thought. You know, I'll be in Times Square, and that's just a blessing, and I'm just going to run with it. Yeah. Um, you know, with your UFC debut against Gaslam, you had that, obviously, a split decision loss. It didn't go in your favor. And after the fight in the press conference, you had said, like, you felt the hype maybe it got a little bit to you. What have you done to get your focus in check ahead of this fight? Um, in the midst of that fight, you know, I was trying not to let that, I get to me is more of the expectations. That's that, it's that cloud still there, I think. And I guess it's because what I've accomplished on the tough, people just expect and all that, but I've just grown not to even pay attention to that for one second. So right after the fight, you know, I went right back to training for me as a martial artist, it's about improving and getting better. So I just wanted to get back to the books and, uh, work on what I was not good at and strengthen what I was good at and just try to apply it to the best I could. Well, I know that you have made a change in your training camp. You're now with Rain MMA, is that correct? Yeah. And what what was that involved with the switch? What prompted that change for you? It's more of a matter that I wish not to even get into, but I'm just happy to be a part of a, an environment where it's very welcoming and, you know, it's, it's where you, you want to get up and, and go to training because the feedback and the people and Mark has just been so great. And it's just constant and it's consistent. And that's what's important in training. You want to feel like you want to go somewhere that, you know, you're getting better. And, you know, it's very welcoming and there's no drama. There's no BS. Is uh, Tail there with you right now? I know during tough he was kind of a, a guiding figure for you with the coach helping you coach up the mental game a little bit is he there working with you right now because i know he also made the switch to that gym too not just chael you know i brought down kelvin too um the, you know kevin was staying with me and chael i think he's gonna probably move out there it's up in the air a little bit but that pretty much been awesome you know to have that um reunion again and of course to work with him and you know, he's always been like a mentor to me, so it just brought back a lot of good things. Right. And I understand uh, Ronda Rousey kind of took you under her wing also right after the Ultimate Fighter. I've seen you in some of uh, Dana White's video vlogs with her, and you guys are kind of, you know, you're showing her some stand-up moves. <laughs> uh, what's her influence been like for you? Uh, you know, in for her influence has just been so amazing she's just inspiring people to look at man what she's accomplished where she's going and it's just constant for her and you know after the fight uh i wanted to kind of go back to train and she convinced me to just come down there and just take some time off and just relax and it was just a different approach and i like you know i admire for that and you know i'm just happy to even have her as a friend because I know a different side of Rhonda. She's just generally a great, she's such a great person, man. It's hard to describe. And, you know, aside from all the press and media and all that stuff, it's, you know, when you get to know someone like that, it's just very cool. And I'm just glad to have her in my corner. That's pretty awesome. Again, this is Heidi Fang with MMA Fight Corner, speaking with Uriah Hall.
tickets are on sale for the Fox Sports launch at the Ticketmaster.com. That's at the TD Garden in Boston this coming Saturday. You've had so many opponent changes for this fight. This is the third one that you had uh, leading up to John Howard. You had Nick Ring first and then Josh uh, Salmon. And now a grizzled bet with Doomsday Howard. Has trying to adjust your game plan at all been difficult or are you just more focused on what you do best? It was a little difficult in the beginning when I heard the first switch. And in the midst of that, I just decided to uh, to go back to what's important, which is me. You know, what can I bring to the table? Instead of focusing too much on my opponent. And uh, one of my coaches to tell me, you know, don't get ready, stay ready. And luckily enough, it happened again. <laughs> so, you know, for me to start thinking like that, you know, I don't want to not say I don't respect my opponent. But... At the same time, I can't forget what I'm good at, what I can do. So I'm not going to just focus too much on what they got. And, you know, I learned a lesson in it, too, to stay constant, stay consistent, pretty much staying ready. Were you chomping at the bit at all to get a piece of dust? <laughs> um, you know, I thought I thought that fight would happen. I didn't expect it to happen that quick. Um, you know, what happened on the show, it happened. Uh, I would love to fight him one day because, you know, it's almost like, you know, it's that fight that everyone wanted to see, of course, and, you know, I wanted to see how well I match up against this style. But, you know, I'm over that drama. It was a harsh environment, and that environment will let you do a lot of things. A lot of people don't know that. So maybe it'll happen someday. You know, I heard he hurt his leg, and, uh, you know, I just hope he heals up properly. I never want to wish anything bad on the guy. But um, eventually, I know what happens. But I'm not, you know, fighting for it or feeding for it. Earlier, you had said that you felt like there was a cloud hanging over you to have to win. Uh, was that necessarily about winning, or was it that you also feel the pressure to give the fans that draw-dropping performance that you had done uh, throughout the Tough Show during Tough 17? Well, when I was on the show, it was more being in that moment. You know, I'm more excited about finding that moment, releasing that beast for me than anyone else. You know, I'm not trying to do it for anybody. And I think it's just not living up to anybody's expectation. I'd rather not do that. I think for me, it's, a mar it's being a martial artist first. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at improving, getting better. But that cloud, I guess what I did, you know, it was more like, wow, okay, what else can he do? And I try not to focus on that, but I just try to have that attitude I had, which is go in there, have fun, and pretty much look for my opening. With that being said, Howard has some Muay Thai experience, kickboxing experience. He's a veteran of the game. He hasn't fought in the UFC in a couple of years here, but what do you see as your advantage in the fight? Um, well, you know, I keep hearing him say he has experience. Uh, he fought the best. I've only seen with the best. And uh, one of his interviews said a lot of the tough guys are not, you know, caliber fighters and I'm overrated. And, and you know, it, it, stuff like that will get into someone's chin, but I'm not a talker, so I'm not going to try to bash. I'll just try to go out there and talk with what I'm good at, you know, fighting and hopefully shut the crowd up. You said that you worked a little bit on things after the Gastelum loss that you thought you could improve on. Was one of those things wrestling? And will we maybe see Ray Hall going for some takedowns and mixing up the game a little bit in this fight? Well, the biggest thing for me is just uh, putting everything together. And that's one of the reasons why I uh, chose to go down the rain. You know, uh, Mark is a great wrestler, and I've learned so much. And it's just adding that, you know, to my arsenal and improving that and just feeling comfortable overall. So you never know. Yeah, maybe I'll just pull out a takedown. So you're right. After this is all over, do you have any plans since you're going to be back on the East Coast? Uh, do you have any plans for anything fun after the fight? Yeah, rest and eat that. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> all right. Well, we want to wish you all of the best of luck, Uriah. Again, UFC Fight Night, Shogun vs. Sonnen. It's at the TD Garden this coming Saturday, August 17th. It will be the launch of the 24-hour sports network, Fox Sports 1. Make sure to tune in. Thank you so much for your time, Uriah. Thank you.